Hello lovers, my name is Yvonne Wildhart and welcome to the Cycle Report for the 2nd of January 2022. I come to you from Jodhpurong country in Central Highlands, Victoria, Australia in the Southern Hemisphere. Happy Gregorian calendar new year! For you in the Northern Hemisphere, dear friends in the Northern Hemisphere, this is especially potent for intentions and dreaming up the next 12 months as your sun is birthing. So you're very much in a birthing um, energy as your sun starts to grow from your the deepest point, your nadir in the um, winter. And of course, the growing light that you're going to experience over the next few weeks, months, um, as you know, as you bring your intentions along with the growing sun. Here in the southern hemisphere, we are in a harvest phase. We are, it's a letting go, it's a dying, it's a harvest, it's collecting all the fruits of our labor of what we've um, planted in our both metaphorical and actual gardens um, over the last six months. And it's a time of you know, it's a reviewing time. It's a time of, you know, check-in. And, you know, I just woke up this morning thinking, oh, God, I am really tired. Um, which, if I want to sustain the next, you know, six months of my harvest, you know, what do I need to do right now to ensure that I'm going to have the energy to do that? It's like, you know, looking at the plants in your garden and just seeing, you know, does the tomatoes need some extra fertilizer to give them um, you know the the energy that they need to have you know to produce the fruits that are coming you know so we can collect and eat them um, so I feel at this point in the cycle for us in the southern hemisphere even though it's you know we've just come off the peak so it's still you know the energy of high intense energy but it's you know with with the sun especially the heat that we're experiencing at the moment it's you know what do we need to do to sustain ourselves to nourish ourselves right now um you know in the next coming months when you know it starts to get really busy harvest is a busy busy time especially if you've been really intentional with your dreams and your intentions and your seedings um, back in sort of that july august um, phase and so you know i'm already seeing you know my calendar booking up for the next few months and it's like wow i'm gonna have to really nourish myself right now at this moment as the check-in point um, to be able to sustain that whole to the end um, you know it sort of reminds me you know that that peak period is the energy of the mother and father and, and it's so busy and you get these little glimpses when you realize oh my goodness i'm so tired I, I really need to look after myself at the moment otherwise i'm not going to be able to give um, what i want to my children and, and that energy that's required so i've been picking calendula um not calendula um calamar today um and it, it sort of reminded me because this is a, a peak um, summer flower herb that we collect and dry for tea and it's really good for calming and nourishment of rest and it feels the space in between that sort of post um, festive season of you know Christmas and summer solstice to you know the next few weeks as we sort of a lot of us are um, you know school holidays and journeying to the beach and things like that it's like what what do I need to rest and nourish myself to take myself to the long haul to the end when all my harvest is coming in and it's a really really busy time especially as we sit at the moment under a dark new moon portal so you know dark moon and new moons are always about what do you want to let go and what are you calling in you know what are you calling in to sustain yourself over the next six months as we, we go into winter here in the southern hemisphere you know what do you um you know how do you want to hold yourself well how do you want to be in the next few months you know this is a really potent time of you know starting to see things die and the dog um you know and, and you know how do you prepare for that grief or what do you what are you going to need to to hold yourself so you know as i said 
this is a time of check-in. Check-in, 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 check-in. Check-in with yourself, check-in with the, your plants in your garden, check-in in with your children. And it's just that, what do you need? What does the family container need? What does the garden need? So you can ensure a really abundant and healthy harvest to take you into the winter months, you know, that winter months when we're gonna need to call on uh, and dig deep into those depths as we move into you know the letting go of the the sun and letting go of you know easefulness of getting dressed in the morning you know instead of having all the layers especially here um in central highlands victoria so it's you know check-in point i it's, it's all that's coming to me right now is that check-in 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 and just you know what do you need to nourish yourself for the harvest to come I've said that a lot, haven't I? That's really strong, obviously, I need it. Um, I think that's really it. It's so, it, we're, we're moving into here in the Southern Hemisphere, the period of La Masse. Um, so, you know, it is about that, you know, it's the fire in the belly that you're, you're gathering, but it's also um, that time of, yeah, looking at the first harvest of your work that you've done in the last six months. And, you know, the world's been topsy-turvy over the last six months, especially, you know, for us in the Southern Hemisphere, that, that fertility phase of August, September. If you think back to what was happening here, um, especially in Victoria, it, it was pretty dank and hard for a lot of people. And... You know, it was interesting sitting with some friends over the um, New Year period and really talking about where, what places we went to during that time in, in fear and um, you know, emotions that were brought up. And so this is the harvest phase of that. And I don't know what's coming, but it feels like, you know, we, you know this time of, okay, that was the fertility phase. What's going to be the harvest? And I not mean to put fear, but... You know, again, it's like, what, how can you nourish yourself right now to ensure that you can, you know, maybe go deep into those places that, you, you know, we you may need to go. Um, you know, it is the work of the Dark Goddess that, you know, that is the descent of the Dark Goddess. She's calling us to, you know, let go of the big things that we need to, to, to sit in the void space so we can dream new dreams, you know, and... You know, astrologically, we've got Venus in retrograde at the moment. You know, Venus is, you know, the Earth herself, the the beautiful, not not, you know, really, you know, Venus is Venus, but you know, she represents that that divine feminine. And you know, how do we how do we, um, you know, nourish the divine feminine within us all? You know, male or female body. Um, it's a review of that and all how do we give and receive of our energies and yeah it's 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 a big time so with that i want to hold you and send you all my love and with this dark moon and this new moon phase just a couple of things as i said i have a very busy harvest so i must have put up a lot out in my um fertility phase of this um six months so as um, in two weeks time, um, my, my dear friend and co-teacher Sarah Miller and I will be starting the Victoria at the School of Shamanic Journey, School of Shamanic Womancraft, Victorian Four Seasons Journey that starts in two weeks. So if you feel the call to go deep and really sit in the realm of the shamanic world and how that um, heals our lineages and you know our calling in a new future hello um you know for our children you know that is a very it's a year-long course and it's super super powerful i mean I, I haven't stopped so you know when i did it in um 2015 and it's just i see the growth that happens from it it is so powerful um if a year is too long I do uh, the Invoking a Nana Journey, a journey through the underworld, which is, is similar, but it's taking a slice of the aspect of the dark goddess and journeying with the, the myth of Nana. So we start, that's online, it's an all-gendered circle, so it's open to everyone. 
um, and that begins on the 18th of January and it is a, a six month deep dive into letting go, consciously letting go and conscious descent, sitting into the void and then reclaiming your power as you, you know, step into your light. So that happens uh, 18th of um, January. Also, I've got in the lead into La Masse, I've got the La Masse e-course, which is a the first harvest festival of, um, you know, of the, the harvest season. So we go through what La Masse is and how to do ritual and set up an altar and the god and goddess archetypes of La Masse. Um, and it's super powerful and there's a drum journey in there. Um, so that is on, <laughs> you can get that through my link. Um, uh, also, I've been doing um, astro transit mapping. So looking at your, your astro astrology, your star imprint from when you were born and just seeing how, what is going to happen for you in the next 12, 12 months. So there's a six month and 12 month deep dive into, you know, the energies that you're going to be encountering. Um, through the astrology and the astrology has been such a powerful mapping I have not um, all the years that I've been following it and even more potent in the last few years it's it's such a strong indicator of the energies that are arising um, and my dear friend Becky Van Horsen and myself um, have been doing a double deal with um, Becky's 13 moon tarot reading and my astrology reading so that is happening as well and um, my dear friend Natasha and co-teacher um, Colchester and myself are doing a drum making workshop at the end of January here in the Central Highlands Victoria and so that's really exciting and places are almost filled for that and stay tuned for a um, another a new e-course coming out for the goddess it's called goddess of every season and that goes through all of the goddess energies of um, from going right through the seasonal cycle of the earth and talking about the goddess um, archetypes and to know that you know we are all of us have every single goddess in us as we journey around the cycle so you know we have both that beautiful um, you know Gaia fertility but we also have the dark goddess within us and and so we talk about and we go through each of the goddesses throughout the whole um, earth or the whole um, cycle going around Whew, I think that's it um, with all my heart so much love from my heart to your heart I hope that in the northern hemisphere that you are dreaming up some really big dreams and intentions and in the southern hemisphere that you are coming into your body and just checking in with yourself to see what you need to call in your intentions to call in of what you need for the next six months in your harvest I love you. Thank you for listening. Thank you for all your support last year. And um, yeah, take care. I love you. Oh, I forgot. Also, I've been doing counseling, shamanic counseling as well. That's both face to face and online. Um, yeah. So I love you. Thank you for listening. <laughs> Bye for now. Bye.